Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So my client here came in for a color change and a silk press and shortcut. So we're going to go ahead and get started on her hair. So I started off by lightening her roots, or her roots, lightening her ends. Um, the color that she's going for is some different hues of blue. Uh, blue is actually one of the more complicated colors. Why? Because you have to get the hair lifted to an extremely light or high level usually somewhere between a level 9 and 10. I was able to safely get her up to a midway, um, I'd say high 8, low 9. Um, because honestly, guys, when you're working with hair color, you're really having to basically watch the texture of the hair, watch how the hair feels, watch how the hair is reacting, and then determine if you are high enough or lifted high enough to get to the color that you want. So I did slightly tone her with some purple or violet shampoo, and now I'm going through and applying our blue. So the colors that I decided to use was a turquoise mix with a uh, topaz blue. And this is a semi-permanent color. We call this what, what we call this is like a fashion color. So when you're putting on color, the hair, especially semi-permanent, the hair has to be dry and you also have to make sure that you thoroughly saturate that hair. So if you notice when I'm putting my color on, I'm rubbing the color into the hair and I'm going over the same spot multiple times because I want to make sure that I do not miss a spot. The thing with fashion colors is if you do not saturate enough or if you um, leave or section too too big you end up missing a space and it definitely will show in your outcome so I make sure that I literally go through and I saturate every single strand and then I go back over it again and color it again so now you guys can see the outcome of the actual color if you guys can't tell she is 100% natural and she also wants a shortcut I tell people that not um, every candidate is ideal for a natural hair shortcut. Why? Because your texture is going to determine how long the style will last. So you'll be in the salon for a couple hours. You'll get this beautiful style to go home. And because you're natural, when you get home, if you perspire, um, if, you, if you get any type of moisture in your hair, guess what happens, you guys? the hair will revert. So keep that in mind when you're deciding um, whether or not you want to get a short style as a natural hairstyle or if you want to go with a relaxer. But of course, it is my choice. There's no right or wrong way to this. It's more what you want in the end result. So I'm going ahead and sectioning off her hair to start her haircut. Yes, I did color her before I cut her. Um, I didn't want to run the risk of manipulating the scalp too much, which will create um, aggravation or irritation during the lightening process. So I waited until after the fact to go through and do her um, haircut because I knew I needed to comb through the hair. I needed to get to the scalp, that kind of thing. So we are doing a short style that she actually brought a picture of. I absolutely love the color, by the way. Um, if you notice, her roots are darker and her ends are in the blue hue. So this is what we would call an ombre. You can even call it a color melt because there are different hues of blue in different places. Um, but for her, it just it was just beautiful. So what I'm doing right now is using my clipper and my clipper comb to do a clipper over comb cut just to kind of take down some of the density on the sides and in the nape of her neck and then we will go through and finish out the haircut with our shears now if you guys know i do not like cutting hair in its natural state but for a style of this nature i still needed to get the hair cut down enough and then after um i silked her out then i will go through and finish out any additional or cleanup cutting that i needed to do so we're doing the haircut now we're not waiting <laughs> Um, another thing that I want you guys to take note, this is a luxury service. This type of style, this type of color requires maintenance, you guys. So for her, she specifically is going to be using our Moisture ELT shampoo. She's also going to purchase a blue or color-based shampoo where it's going to or keep the blue vibrant until it's time for her to recolor her hair. Also, Heat is all the time is not going to be her best friend. So I always recommend that, you know, when people get natural haircuts and they get color of this nature, just be prepared to sometimes wear your hair in twist outs to sometimes wear it in wash and goes. 
it's not going to be all the time that you want to straighten this hair because hair color does not like a lot of heat and you want to keep that in mind hair color is very fragile okay and it is a high maintenance service so i always tell people this is a luxury service and you're going to treat it like luxury you're not going to go to gucci buy a gucci bag roll over it with your car and keep it no so it's the same thing with your hair <laughs> So at this part of the process, I know you guys are looking and saying, okay, this cut is coming together. This is about to be nice and simple. Now she's just going to go through after she does the haircut and she's just going to curl her up. And that hair is going to look like she has a total relaxer. Absolutely not. The process is nowhere near done. You'll see exactly what I mean. So now that I have gone through, did her haircut, I had to run the hot comb over her hair especially on the sides and the back. And then I use our Elite Silk Wrap Foam to mold her down. Guys, if you do not mold this hair, it will not lay, okay? So our Elite Silk Wrap Foam is ideal for things of this nature. And speed is also going to be something that is required because remember, this is natural hair and it is going to revert at the same rate as it would if you were to put water on your hair. So this is where I tell people you have to move quickly you have to move quickly. You have to move quickly. I messed up and my paper tore. So I had to go back and put more wrap foam on the hair to mold it down again really, really quickly. And then put another wrap strip on her hair extremely fast. Just because I wanted to make sure that the hair was stuck in the lay position. She's still natural, guys. So it's still going to revert with the touch of anything. Anything that has any type of wetness to it was going to make it revert. So this is what requires speed and precision, okay? So once we got her wrap strip put on, um, she goes under the dryer for about 30 minutes, give or take. And then we go through with the curl process, which I'm not going to lie, you guys. The style came out absolutely amazing. But I'll let you guys see everything up to the end. And then I'll come back and we'll talk about exactly what's going on here.
So now we are using our three tenths of an inch iron to curl her hair. And at the same time, we are silking her as well. Um, for natural hair, you do definitely want to make sure that your sectioning is a little bit smaller and that you apply heat protectant, which to her hair, I applied the Frizz Tamer and Shine Serum. And then I also applied a little bit of our IMS serum to her hair as well. Now, the mold, your foundation is definitely a necessity. If you guys notice, her hair is laying down really, really nicely right now. That is required. And I'm doing a technique that we call 3D waves. So it's making the waves appear as though we did, we actually did it with foam and not anything other than foam. But I'm actually using my iron to give that effect because I wanted to take some of the density off of her um, head in regards to the style. And this actually reduces the density, but also gives it a very, very sleek look. Very sleek. So, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video. And also comment in the comments what you think of the finished style. Listen, I know it's mom. It, it's, it's just cute. It was very cute. Very cute, very cute, very cute. And I loved the color. Love, love. I love doing fashion colors because it allows me to get into my creative aspect of coloring. I love coloring, if you guys didn't know. Um, I just don't get a chance to do a lot of color because I deal with clients who are dealing with things like alopecia, um, hair loss of some nature. So color is not necessarily their best friend. But I'm going to let you guys um, continue watching the finish of the style. And then we'll come back at the end and close out our video. All right, you guys. So now you get to see the finish. Tell me, does she look like she is natural? No. Her style came out absolutely amazing. 
I love the color. I love the shape. I love everything. I had to go and look for my edge control because I could not find it. I, I don't know where I placed it. I thought I left it in one of my neighbor's rooms. But all in all, I ended up finding it later on because I wanted to lay her hairline down. But guys, like I said, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me how it looks. Tell me if you would ever rock this style, this color, whatever. <laughs> um, I did actually end up locating the edge control. So now you guys get to see how, how nice we cleaned up her edges and made it nice and cute and sleek and all that good stuff. And you are going to get to see the reaction because she would not look in the mirror until, um, guys, until it was time for the finish. It was time for her to see her style and watch her reaction yes she loved it she loved it she loved it thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video